Hi friends, um, a short clip to talk about this huge um, news about China helping broker a, a res the resuming of diplomatic relations between Iran and Saudi Arabia, which is significant for many reasons. Um, we're going to talk about a couple of them. One, for example, now imagine Saudi Arabia, who has said in the past that they want to join uh, BRICS now Iran joining BRICS uh, that is going to be extremely good for trade for business number one there's another thing this is going to probably solidify the trade of oil uh, between these very oil rich countries um, and China in a currency other than the US dollar which is going to help to um, bring down the American economy and its hegemony around the world. Another thing that is important is if Saudi Arabia and Iran were to join BRICS, you now have a huge block, Russia, Saudi Arabia and Iran, who are very rich in resources, um, oil, energy, etc., that it's, it's just going to step away from the US dollar. There's no reason for them to make America stronger when it doesn't benefit them at all. So that's that's going to be this is why I think that this peace agreement is or this resumption of diplomatic relations brokered by China is seismic it is is going to change the world order as we see it and it's actually taking place. Now there's another thing that goes a little bit deeper. When you think that Wang Yi, who I think should be the next UN secretary or or at least uh, winner of the Nobel Peace Prize, although that doesn't mean any mu too much when you think about it that Barack Obama got one after he bombed so many countries for eight years. But anyway, when you think that these negotiations are taking place, when they're sitting down at the table with uh, the, the prince of Saudi Arabia and with um, the, the leaders of Iran, America has to be part of the conversation. They might be talking, they, they for sure are talking about like, look, this is the situation with America. And what do you think they're saying? They're saying, look, America is collapsing. America can't sustain uh, its hegemony and its influence around the world for too long. The US dollar is a stretch. Their economy is uh, going down. We are the next thing. We are the future. So let's do things together. That's what the Chinese diplomats are saying in these very high-level meetings in these countries, they're painting a very factual picture of what America's hegemony is like today around the world. And they convinced or they are met with agreement on the other side. So the Iranians say like, yeah, that's true. The Russians say, yeah, that's true. The Saudi Arabians say, yeah, that's true. Every other superpower or large country that is partnering with China is having these conversations and, and, and being presenting this parallel between this is the situation when you are dealing with America, this is the situation when you're dealing with us. What do you choose? So when you see country after country and this latest agreement is just enormous significance, choosing China, it tells you two things. They buy onto the China promise, which is China's achievement, basically. They, they have a track record. But the other thing that they sign to is the fact that America is going down. That's what you got to read into these agreements. They agree. They, they, they see the same... The China does. All right, guys, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much, and until I see you again, take it easy and bye for now.